Welcome to Maryland's Digital eLibrary Consortium, your library's virtual branch, where you can download thousands of audiobook titles for free with your Maryland Library card. Audiobooks check out for up to 21 days, and there is a limit of four checkouts per customer. In this tutorial, you will learn how to download audiobooks from Maryland's Digital eLibrary Consortium and transfer them to your audio player. To do this, you will need a few ingredients an active library card, a computer or laptop with an internet connection, OverDrive Media Console software, we will demonstrate the download process for it in this lesson, an audiobook that you would like to listen to from the consortium website in MP3 or WMA format, and finally an audio player that will play MP3 and WMA files. Let's begin. Before you can download a title from Maryland's Digital eLibrary Consortium, you must first download and install OverDrive Media Console software on your computer or laptop. To begin the download process, click on OverDrive Media Console listed under the Digital Software section of the menu on the left side of your screen. This will open a page on the OverDrive website. Choose the type of computer you want to download the software onto from the list on the top right of the screen and then click Download Now. Click to save the file odmediaconsolesetup.msi and then click its name in the Downloads folder to open it. Click to run the setup file. Click Next to start the install wizard. On the next screen, select I agree and click Next again. Continue clicking Next until Overdrive Media Console has successfully been installed to your computer. Now return to the screen for Maryland's Digital eLibrary Consortium. The first thing you should do when you arrive back at the Consortium website is log in. This will allow you to see the Advantage titles available in your region as well as the titles that are available from the statewide collection. Click Log In on the banner at the top of the screen. On the Log In screen shown here, you will next be prompted to choose your library, in this case Allegheny County Library System. Next, type in your 14-digit library card number with no spaces between the numbers. Finally, type in your PIN if prompted and click Sign In. One of the easiest ways to find audiobooks is to scroll down to Browse Collections in the menu on the left side of the page. From here, you can click to see all new audiobooks, or you can click to see all audiobooks in the consortium's collection that are in MP3 format or all the audiobooks that are in WMA format. Most audio players will play audiobooks in either format. However, Amazon's Kindle Fire and Barnes and Noble's Nook Color will only play MP3 files. Another way to search for audiobooks is advanced search. Click advanced search in the banner at the top of the screen. The advanced search page shown here allows you to look for a specific title or author and simultaneously narrow your search results to a specific audio file format. You can also limit the results by subject. This will allow you to look for audiobooks in a particular genre, like westerns or mysteries, or you can pick broader categories like fiction or nonfiction. Finally, the check box for only show titles with copies available can be selected so that the results list will only include the audiobooks that are able to be checked out immediately. Leave this box unchecked if you wish to see all results, regardless of availability. In this way, you would be able to place a hold for items currently checked out. When you've made your choices, click the Search button. Regardless of which search method you choose, once you see a title you would like to check out, there are a few steps you must follow to get the audiobook to your audio player. In this example, the book South of Broad by Pat Conroy has been selected for checkout. To begin the checkout process, click the Add to Cart button next to the ebook format you want. The audiobook has now been added to your cart. On this screen, you can choose to click on Continue Browsing if you want to go back to the results list and look for other books. The audiobook will stay in your cart for 30 minutes. If you have not checked it out by then, it will be automatically removed from your cart and become available to other patrons again. If you are finished looking for audiobooks, click Proceed to Checkout to finish checking out the title. We will choose Proceed to Checkout. On the checkout screen, you can choose to check the audiobook out for 7, 14, or 21 days. Then click Confirm Checkout. Now you have successfully checked out the audiobook 
and it is time to begin the process of getting it to your audio player. Click Download. A message will appear on the screen. Confirm that you want to download the audiobook to Overdrive Media Console by clicking OK. Overdrive Media Console will open and a message will appear so that you can decide where to save the audio files on your computer. Overdrive Media Console will automatically create a file folder for the audio files and all you have to do is click OK to accept this location. Or you can type in a different location if you prefer. Another message will appear that shows the files that the audiobook contains. To download all of them, click OK. It may take several minutes for all of the files to download, depending on the length of the book and how many files there are. When the audio files have finished downloading, connect your audio player to your computer with the USB cord. Then click Transfer from the menu at the top of the OverDrive Media Console. The transfer wizard will open. Click Next to begin the transfer process. The transfer wizard will search your computer to find the connected audio player. Once it has done this, click Next to continue. Now the wizard will copy the audio files to the audio player. When the process is complete, click Finish. Safely remove your audio player from your computer by clicking the green arrow or check mark in the notifications area on the bottom right side of your screen. Then select Eject from the dialog box that appears. Now unplug the USB cord from your computer and audio player and enjoy listening to your title. This concludes the tutorial. Please visit Maryland's Digital eLibrary Consortium regularly as new titles are always being added. Also, for any additional assistance or questions, please contact your local library.